hi good evening all of you hope i am audible you are able to view the screen and also you are able to view me and uh, today we will discuss about the uh, second session about the cleaning validation key questions similar way i will take uh, uh, different questions from different topics you can suggest the topics even you can suggest the questions also i will compile these all questions and i will uh, take a separate session so that it will be lifelong available in the youtube and many companies or many people are taking the benefit of this okay so let us discuss about uh, today's uh, questions what we are going to discuss i identified for today's discussion three total questions the first question is dedicated equipment required for manufacturing of potent compounds so the question is when you are manufacturing the cytotoxic product mutagenic product you know or high pharmacologic activity do we need a dedicated equipment for manufacturing of these potent molecules or product potent products that is the question many companies ask why they ask the reason is you the companies may be manufacturing a normal category of the product and uh, only the exhibit batches or uh, uh, we don't know whether the exhibit batches will be approved or not by the regulatory agency so just for that the new facility uh, building the new facility new equipments may not be suitable for any manufacturing unit so how practically you can comply the requirement so that is the reason it is a, this is a question that uh, can we man manufacture the this product uh, high, potent molecules in the existing facility that is the question the second question is is testing rinse solution is enough to support the residue determination for cleaning validation so suppose if i am performing the cleaning validation and i am just following the rinse method rinse sampling method whether it is sufficient or i need to do something else so that is what the second question and the third question is is it necessary for companies to validate a maximum time allowed for a piece of equipment to be dirty before cleaning so the question is whether the companies need to validate the dirty equipment whole time for a maximum time uh, where the, you can keep the equipment dirty for long period so whether it is required by the companies so you will say the answer is yes but there is something tricky for this question so please go through these questions one by one and let us discuss about the answers in line with the guidelines okay so before going ahead i will just share one disclaimer so uh, you can go through it you can pause it if you are interested otherwise we will directly move to the next slide and we can discuss we can start discussing on the today's first question and the today's first question is whether the dedicated equipments required for manufacturing of the potent compounds the answer is given by us fda and believe me i just pasted copy and pasted the answer from the fda expectations okay if you are interested you just ask me i will even give the detailed reference also that where it is mentioned which fda guideline you know i will share you don't worry about that so what fda expects fda expects that separation or dedication of facilities and equipment for the manufacture of potent compounds is not specifically required by cgmp regulations exactly expectation by guide guideline fda that not required however now here the here the key point huh? however manufacturers should identify drugs with such a risk and define the controls necessary to eliminate the risk of product cross contamination in non dedicated equipment and facilities so the people the companies should what they should do they should do the risk assessment identify the different risks because you are going to manufacture the potent molecule in the shared facility so you need to perform the risk assessment and you need to put some controls to control the cross contamination in the facility such a controls include proper cleaning cleaning validation and other contaminant controls so what are these from which what you got it you got the information from this requirement of fda that yes we can manufacture the potent molecules proton product in the separate uh, in the same facility separate or dedicated equipment and facility is not required however we need to perform the risk assessment you have to identify the risk with respect to the cross contamination because you are going to manufacture the potent molecule in the shared facility and then you need to put some controls that is what the expectation further 
FDA is specifying the point, you know, in designing a facility, firms should carefully evaluate manufacturing processes to determine best procedural control and floor plan, optimizing the flow of materials, equipments and people to help prevent product contamination. So, you know, this is what the thing that, uh, you know, that, that indicates that, you know, you need to think about this, that uh, you need to have the facility control as well as you need to have a procedural control and that procedural control should be how best procedural control you need to put to avoid the cross contamination. Exactly taken from the USFDA guideline. Okay. So the next question now, the next question is, is a testing rinse solution enough to support residue determination for cleaning validation? So this is what the question that if I am performing the cleaning validation and in the cleaning validation, as you know that we can take the swab or rinse or some company they do the placebo testing. So whether I need to follow if I am following only rinse sampling, not the swab and all. So is it enough to support the residue determination for cleaning validation? The answer given exactly directly as a no. Directly answer is given no. And it is explained now why it is no. For cleaning validation, rinse samples alone should not be acceptable. For cleaning validation, rinse samples alone would not be acceptable. Forms should also measure the residue or contaminant on the equipment surface using a direct method if possible or if feasible. So the focus of a FDA is you need to try to get the additional sampling by the swab sample because it is a direct testing method, direct sampling method from the equipment. Because why they are telling this? Because one disadvantage of resample is that rinse solvent may not remove the residue or contaminant. There may be possibility that the rinse solvent may not remove the residue or contaminant because it may be trapped at the hard to reach areas and from there if you use the swab it will be at, uh, the removal of the residue from that uh, hard to reach or hard to clean areas are maybe more and that is the reason it is expected that only if you are using the uh, rinse sample te uh, technique then it is not acceptable you need to have a direct um, you know direct sampling like swab sampling this is the clear message given by FDA hope you are with me right now the last third question today's third questions you know this is the last question is it necessary for companies to validate a maximum time allowed for a piece of equipment to be dirty before cleaning the company the answer is very clear here companies should have sop in place which require cleaning to be performed immediately cleaning to be performed immediately after production has stopped and this scenario should be validated what does it mean it means that we need to have a sop and it should specify clearly that after manufacturing is over immediately the equipment should be clean and that cleaning should be validated as a routine cleaning validation so it is not like that that okay uh, i can perform the dirty equipment whole time study for six days seven days 15 days and i will keep the equipment dirty so that if i manufacture the product today i can keep the equipment for long period no this is not the expectation it is just like you know um, if you have the gun, can you kill the somebody? No, you have the gun. So you need to have your controls that you will, you are not allowed to kill anybody else. So similar way, you need to have SOP and it, which will say that, which will recommend that to clean the equipment immediately after production is complete. Okay. Hope you are getting my point further. However, if for some reason immediate cleaning is not possible because see, immediate cleaning may not be immediately possible uh, due to so many reasons 
सो कंपनी शुड कंसिडर इफेक्ट ऑफ टाइम ऑन द मटेरियल डिपॉजिटेड ऑन द इक्विपमेंट इट मे बी पॉसिबल टू ग्रुप और ब्रैकेट प्रोडक्ट एंड वैलिडेट अ वर्स के सीनेरियो सो द पॉइंट इज इट शुड नॉट बी रूटीनली फॉलोड दैट मीन्स वॉट इफ यू यू नीड टू परफॉर्म डर्ट इक्विपमेंट होल टाइम स्टडी इट इज वॉट इट इज क्लियरली मैंशन हियर राइट इट इज यू आर गेटिंग द इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट इट यू नीड टू परफॉर्म द डर्ट इक्विपमेंट होल टाइम बट you need to clean the equipment immediately after use second thing it should not be considered as a granted that yes i am having a dirt equipment whole time so always i will follow that dirt equipment whole time and i will clean by referring the dirt equipment whole time this should not should not be the practice the practice should be cleaning immediately after use exactly expectation copy and pasted from the guideline hope you are with me and everyone everyone is clear with this right if you have any questions please put your questions in the comment section i will again explain to you why it is not expected and all why it is not uh, uh, answer is clarified by api apic guideline and all okay so thank you thank you so much for your kind attendance and uh, kind learning about the questions next week again we will come with the uh, different questions on different topics and we will discuss and clarify with the help of the guideline expectations hope everyone is with me if you have any questions please put the questions in the comment section again same questions i will take up to explain you in detail thank you thank you so much and ensure all time compliance thank you